Hidden deep within the Earth's crust lies a metal that changed the very limits of human engineering. The same metal forged into jet engines that scream through the stratosphere and implanted into human bones that must never fail. That metal is titanium, one of the strongest, lightest, and most resilient elements ever tamed by mankind. It's almost paradoxical the same metal used in supersonic aircraft also rests quietly inside the phone in your pocket. Its combination of strength, low weight, and resistance to corrosion has made it both a weapon of power and a symbol of precision. Yet titanium's journey from raw mineral to gleaming alloy is anything but simple. Each ounce must be wrestled from minerals like ilmenite and rutile, crushed, refined, and heated to unimaginable temperatures before it can emerge as the tough, silvery metal that reshaped modern civilization. If you enjoy uncovering the hidden processes that build our world, make sure to like this video. It helps more people discover how ordinary earth becomes extraordinary metal. Titanium may be abundant in nature, but refining it into usable form is one of industry's most complex achievements. It's rarely found in pure deposits. Instead, it hides inside mineral grains formed by volcanic activity millions of years ago. To locate them, geological teams use satellite imagery and magnetic mapping to trace faint signatures of titanium-rich ore beneath deserts, mountains, and coastlines. Once identified, the real work begins. Coastal regions often contain placer deposits thick, dark sands rich in ilmenite. Here, massive dredging pumps blast powerful jets of water into the sandbanks, creating turbulent slurry that frees the heavy grains from the lighter ones. As the mixture flows through channels, the titanium-bearing particles sink, while ordinary sand is carried away. In a matter of minutes, the ground is reshaped dunes collapse, channels churn, and a metallic sheen begins to glint through the water. What remains is dense, titanium-rich sand that will feed the next stage of production. Further inland, in regions where rutile ore is buried within ancient bedrock, the process is even more grueling. Excavators tear open the surface, stripping away tons of overburden to reach the narrow seams below. Trucks the size of small houses crawl up the quarry ramps carrying loads that weigh over a hundred tons. Dust clouds rise like fog, coating the entire valley in shades of gray and red the color of raw ilmenite, the first glimpse of titanium before it's transformed into brilliance. Once hauled to the stockyard, the ore is screened and washed. The goal is to remove everything that isn't useful soil, stones, and organics before feeding it into mechanical separators. Inside, dense mineral grains are sifted by weight, magnetic charge, and buoyancy. Iron-rich impurities are magnetically pulled aside. Silica and clay drift away in flotation tanks. What remains is a dark, heavy concentrate that now holds up to 60% titanium dioxide, the foundation of every titanium alloy ever created. It's easy to overlook what this step represents. Millions of years of geological pressure distilled into one of the most strategic raw materials on Earth. But mining is only the beginning. Transforming this mineral into metal will require chemistry, fire, and an extraordinary amount of patience. Every ton of concentrated ore represents countless gallons of water, hundreds of gallons of fuel, and days of continuous separation. It's why titanium, despite being common in theory, remains rare in practice too stubborn to yield easily. The real transformation begins in the metallurgical plants, where that concentrated ore will face heat, gas, and metal reactions powerful enough to break molecular bonds forged by nature itself. And it's in those massive reactors glowing with chlorine vapor and magnesium fire where titanium finally begins to reveal its metallic soul. Inside towering metallurgical plants, the concentrated ore arrives looking like nothing more than dark sand, silent, heavy, unremarkable. Yet within those grains lies the potential for a metal so strong and pure that entire industries depend on it. The first transformation takes place in sealed reactors, where chemistry and fire join forces to strip oxygen from the ore and expose the titanium hidden beneath. If you're fascinated by how human technology bends nature's toughest materials into submission, don't forget to like and subscribe. It's a small action that keeps these stories of science and engineering alive for others to discover. The process begins with chlorination, one of the most aggressive chemical reactions in metallurgy. The ore, rich in titanium dioxide, is mixed with carbon and fed into a high-temperature furnace. 
chlorine gas is pumped in, reacting instantly with the oxygen and metal inside the ore. The result is titanium tetrachloride, a volatile, colorless liquid that looks harmless, but can fume violently on contact with air. This compound, nicknamed Tickle by engineers, becomes the bridge between stone and metal. Inside distillation towers, titanium tetrachloride is purified through a series of vaporization and condensation cycles. Each pass removes impurities like iron, vanadium, and manganese elements that, even in trace amounts, can weaken the final metal. After several hours, the output is a liquid so pure it reflects light like mercury, ready for the most crucial stage, reduction. The purified titanium tetrachloride is fed into massive airtight steel reactors lined with insulation. Inside, it meets magnesium or sodium metal at temperatures exceeding 1,000 degrees Celsius. When the two elements react, the titanium separates from its chlorine bonds, forming a gray, porous substance that clings to the chamber wall's titanium sponge. The byproduct, magnesium chloride, remains molten and is later removed through vacuum distillation. When the reactor finally cools, engineers unbolt the massive steel lid and reveal the raw titanium for the first time. It's not a gleaming bar of metal, yet it looks like charcoal gray coral, rough and irregular. But within that spongy surface lies the pure element that will become jet engines, surgical implants, and spacecraft hulls. Workers carefully chip away the hardened crust and break the sponge into smaller chunks. Each piece is then washed in acid baths to remove salt residues and dried until it reaches the consistency of solid stone. The titanium sponge is graded by density and purity before being pressed into large cylindrical blocks, electrodes ready for the next transformation. From chemistry, the process now moves into the realm of fire and electricity. Inside a vacuum arc remelting VAR furnace, the titanium electrode is suspended above a water-cooled copper crucible. When the current ignites, a blinding electric arc leaps across the gap, instantly melting the titanium into liquid metal. Drop by drop, the molten metal drips into the crucible, where it cools and solidifies into a homogeneous ingot. The vacuum ensures that no oxygen or nitrogen can contaminate the melt, both would render the titanium brittle. Each pass through the VAR furnace refines the structure further, aligning the atomic lattice and eliminating voids. Some ingots undergo multiple melts to achieve the ultra-high purity demanded by aerospace or medical applications. When the current stops and the light fades, a massive cylindrical ingot now rests in the crucible silver-gray, flawless, and gleaming faintly under the heat lamps. Still radiating at over 1,800 degrees Fahrenheit, the newly formed ingot is lifted out by robotic cranes and moved toward forging presses. Here, under immense hydraulic force, it will be reshaped, stretched, and strengthened. The moment when titanium evolves from chemistry into engineering. But the most remarkable truth is this. Every shining turbine blade Every surgical implant, every titanium screw begins as a handful of dark sand transformed by heat, chlorine, and electric arcs the alchemy of the modern age. And from here, that molten promise will be forged, pressed, and machined into the very form of precision itself. Still glowing from the furnace, the titanium ingot is a symbol of transformation, a once inert mineral now turned into one of the strongest, lightest materials on Earth. In this form, it is both delicate and powerful, too hot to touch, yet capable of forming the backbone of technologies that define our age. As the ingot cools, it's prepared for the next step shaping. Giant hydraulic presses weighing hundreds of tons slam down with bone-shaking force. Each impact echoes through the factory like thunder, compressing and stretching the metal into billets of uniform density. This forging process doesn't just shape titanium, it strengthens it. Every strike realigns its crystal structure, forcing microscopic voids to close and giving the metal its signature toughness. It's the sound of raw geology becoming usable strength. Once the billets cool, they're ground clean and rolled under powerful steel mills, gradually flattened and elongated into standardized shapes, bars, plates, and rods. This is where titanium first begins to resemble the forms we recognize in industry. Every pass through the rollers demands precision. Even a small temperature deviation can cause warping or uneven stress. The process might look mechanical, but it's an art of delicate balance between heat, pressure, and timing. 
If stories of how everyday metals are engineered into perfection fascinate you, don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps more people discover how the modern world is built, one process at a time. After rolling, titanium enters the world of machining, where advanced tools sculpt it into precision parts. High-speed CNC lathes and mills slice through the metal with computer-guided precision, cutting, drilling, and engraving components measured to tolerances smaller than a human hair. Because titanium is incredibly heat-resistant, each tool is cooled by a continuous stream of oil or water to prevent overheating. Sparks fly as blades carve turbine blades for jet engines, brackets for satellites, and joint replacements that will remain inside human bodies for decades. Every cut, every pass of the blade tells the story of a material that refuses to yield and the human ingenuity that found a way to shape it anyway. From defense to medicine, titanium's role extends far beyond strength. In aerospace, its lightweight and heat resistance enable aircraft to fly higher and faster. In medicine, its biocompatibility allows bone to fuse naturally with titanium implants, a union between metal and life itself. Before shipment, every titanium product undergoes rigorous inspection. Bars are ultrasonically scanned for internal flaws, sheets are laser measured for thickness, and components are tested under simulated stress. Each piece must meet exacting standards, not just for performance, but for safety. In aerospace, even a microscopic imperfection could mean disaster. Once approved, the titanium is packaged in bundles or crates labeled with alloy grade, batch number, and dimensions. It's then shipped across continents to jet factories, naval shipyards, and hospitals. For a material born from sand, the destinations are extraordinary. But titanium's story doesn't exist in isolation. It sits alongside steel, aluminum, and copper, each defining its own domain. Steel builds our cities. Aluminum powers our mobility. But titanium, rare and costly, defines the frontier where performance outweighs price and failure is not an option. That's why it's called a strategic metal one reserved for the edge of human capability. When held side by side, titanium and steel represent two visions of civilization. One is the skeleton of everyday life bridges, railways, and skyscrapers. The other is the spearhead of innovation aircraft, submarines, and surgical precision. Both are essential, but titanium reminds us of what happens when humanity refuses to settle for limits. From black sand pulled from coastal shores to glowing ingots pressed under thunderous machines, titanium's path mirrors our own, shaped by pressure, refined by fire, and perfected through persistence. It stands as proof that what begins as dust can become the strongest metal in the world. And if stories like this remind you how far human ingenuity has come, take a second to like this video and subscribe because the next journey into the factories of modern civilization will show just how much further we can go.